perfect because it matches you. You're a serious character. And then I'm the meme one. I'm not even like the Joker. I'm the meme You're version. the meme Joker. <laughs> so I'll hit the pose right now. <laughs> Welcome back to another Halloween episode. Yes, sir. Holy fuck. Halloween's low-key our best time. I know. So yeah. We always have to, we, we got to double down on the Halloween episode. I don't know Thanks. why, but you guys love it so much. So hit the like button right now, because I know uh, you guys love the Halloween episodes where we facts, dress up and facts, shit. Facts. Hit the like button right now, bro. Look what I have to wear. Bro, if, if you really bag what I'm wearing on my face right now, there, it says, so we got this shit from the it's, dollar it's store. white cream. White cream makeup. Fam, no ingredients on the <laughs> I actually don't know what's <laughs> this, what this is, fam. <laughs> All it is, there's one, there's a translation in French and the weight. What the <laughs> Don't so, worry, bro. You're safe, fam. No, Don't my worry. shit's starting to itch, bro. It's <laughs> Let's hurry it up. Bro's like, bro's like, he's gonna break out because of this. Bro. It's worth it, fam. It's it is, worth it. Because the Halloween episodes are my favorite, too. Yes, sir. But yeah. Um, speaking of Halloween, mm. I just want to get into uh, like a little bit of the lore of Halloween and shit. Okay, okay. Because we, we, we talked about it before. Yeah, we did. It's like all the dead people rising at, yeah, but on that day. A lot, a lot of people don't realize, like, because the comments on our last episode, mm -hmm. I just want to address those comments. So they're saying, like, if you, if you actually celebrate Halloween, yeah, you're opening yourself up to the ideas of spirits attaching to you, mm. that type of shit. And there was a Satanist, like, a, this is this is real, like a famous Satanist, yeah. And he said he's glad that the general public, at least one time a day of the year, mm -hmm. that they celebrate Satan. And he's like, and everyone's like, yo, what are you talking about? What day is that? Mm -hmm. He said, it's Halloween. Ew. And that's fucked. Nah, you that think is about fucked. Because it, it is like about that ghoulish shit. It's all mm -hmm. about like spirits and stuff yeah. like that, right? That's why I didn't like going into Spirit Halloween because since I was a child, I had trauma going in that store. Because of clowns? You're scared of clowns? No, no, clowns and just like, I don't know. It's just, I, it's never good energy when I'm in there. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I might be overreacting, but fam, we went in there and it was like. No, there's some bad shit in the yeah. back. In the back, they have like upside down crosses and That's stuff. That's what I'm like, saying. Fuck that, bro. Yeah. And it was full. Oh my God. If you guys could smell what we smelled in that Halloween store, fam. Like, you know when you can smell must? Oh, you know what it smells like? It smells like Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, yeah, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> oh my god. It's like you can feel the must on your face and then you take a sniff and it's like, oh my god, nah, this is bad. Gross, it's bad. It's bad air, fam. It's whenever too much people are in one spot. Low key, you know what I realized? Toronto just loves lines. Yeah. I don't know if any other cities like this, but Toronto specifically, no matter what, they just open a freaking Dave's Hot Chicken. Yeah. Line down the block. Bro, they're not even getting like shit for free and they're yeah. not getting anything for sale. Yo, they just want to line up to line up and they love following people. Exactly. Like, if if a group of people is doing something, they look in like, oh, let me do it too. Yeah, bro, my, my sister, you know the crumble cookies? Yeah. Because it's super big in, in the US. Fam, she lined up for that, for, I think, for four hours. Holy and shit. And only got a free hat. And and just, she had to pay for the crumble cookies. Fam, if you're online, I'm expecting, okay, I might get some free shit, like maybe some free cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still pay full price for the cookies. Damn. Only got a little, little hat <laughs> that you're probably never going to wear again. Damn, bro. See, yeah. I, at those times, you have to figure out, like, are you, wh why are you really, like, following all these people in that line? If, if everybody's going in one direction, mm -hmm. do you just trust them because of the population or do you trust yourself first? No, I have that question, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, but, and it's crazy because I usually trust the population because it's like, oh, if the no, there's me a trend, too, though. Yeah. yeah, me too. Like, it's so easy to fall into that trap. It's so easy. And yeah. just even growing up, that's that's kind of what we're taught to do yeah. is, is like follow what everybody else does. Mm -hmm. When not, nah, it's not. There was some crazy shit that I seen too. It's like I don't, I didn't know that a lot of kids were not allowed to watch SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, they yeah. were kids, because supposedly if you watch SpongeBob, parents thought that if you watch SpongeBob, it would make them stupid because SpongeBob was stupid. Yeah, and Patrick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and Patrick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my, my dad was telling me like his coworkers they wouldn't let their kids watch SpongeBob. He's like, That's oh, so you know, what? I let you watch this. The, the other my other friends they won't let you watch that. That's so crazy. Like SpongeBob, out of all the things, I feel like SpongeBob is the least harmful. I know. Because it's such a positive show. I don't but know. But now that looking back at it. <laughs> Now looking back at it, there is some dark humor in it. A lie. But it's supposed to be like for everyone to enjoy. Yeah. And the kids aren't supposed to get like the dark stuff. It's only mm. the parents that would get it. Yeah, yeah, facts. But I don't think it's it's to the point like you shouldn't let kids watch it. And you like kids are gonna find out to watch stuff anyways if yeah. it's if it's available, you know? Facts. Oh, you know where we were talking about the last minute costumes? Yeah. Bro, uh doodle bop. If someone went out of doodle bop and someone hit them annoying annoying, oh no, that's like that's, that's hard. Sick. That's I hard. That's I should have done that. Yo, how would you draw that though? 
No, you just do white. You you do the white paint, and then like I don't know scribbles, scribbles. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is that count as white face, man? I don't know. <laughs> okay, speaking of um people following into one thing, yeah, and, yeah. and this kind of ties into like spirituality and okay. shit. But there was a. Uh, this is like a known astrologist, mm. and she came out on TikTok. This went viral. Oh shit! But she pretty much said that every single zodiac, yeah, all of those signs are demons, and Whoa. you putting on the personality and accepting who that zodiac is and that yeah. personality is, is you becoming more and more so and hard. manifesting more into that mm. demon. Yeah, because bro, we know we know. Fuck a shorty that has rocks in her living room just lined up boop 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 on the table <laughs> but yeah I, i'm not gonna speak about that but I, she has that that spirit in her house then no but if you think about it it's like um if if you're told to be somebody because you're told to be somebody because mm -hmm. demons can't live on their own they have to have a host yeah so if you accept it yeah it takes over you and you become it. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see people like, oh, I'm so much like my sign. I'm so much more like my sign. It's because you kind of manifested yourself to be like that. Mm. And then that's where it gets deep into astrology because that astrologist was really saying like, she used to be so into it. And then when yeah. she realized, yo, this is demonic. Like yeah. it, it took over her life. She said, um, I think her sign is Gemini. Okay. And the the trait of Gemini is they're like two-sided. Okay. Like they have two voices almost. And when she started accepting it more and more, she became two-sided. She became almost having two voices in her head. Ew, man. Crazy. That's fucked. And I like seeing like how, because um, there was a point in time where you can see it in the podcast too, when we had like Gigi and we we talked about the spiritual shit. Yeah. Where we kind of believed it, remember? Because mm. it's easy and, to look into yeah, it. Yeah. And you had like, um, there was a point in time where we had the cats in on our set because mm -hmm. we were like oh this will grant us money and stuff like that yeah but then now it's crazy because you see like the progression from it, it's like oh you started uh getting into faith and it was straight god now yeah yeah there's no more of that that bullshit exactly in our, in our exactly set. so it's crazy yeah you seen the progression and and <clears throat> the thing is when you make that switch mm -hmm. there's nothing that can stop you because there's no like there is mystery, yeah. but the mystery doesn't have to be fearful because you have faith. Mm -hmm. and, and that's one thing I learned. Yeah, and it's good that we kind of like in like devoured in that because it's like if we never seen that side, we might have never seen we might have never seen how bad it actually was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if we just did that side and never went back to God, we would have just been stuck there. Because it takes one to know one type yeah, of thing, exactly. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you have to you have to be able to be like in the in the dumps to mm -hmm. see what the good is. Yeah. Type of shit. I know. Cause low key, like I, I really look at a bunch of these people who were past drug addicts or they were they're really down bad in their life and then they change their life around. They have so much wisdom and so much life lessons yeah. the average person couldn't even comprehend. Right. But the fact that they went through that in their journey, they just have like a craziest story to tell and their own story to tell because we can hear about like other people's documentaries how they live their life the experiences they went through mm -hmm. but nothing hits the same like your own yeah because you you were there you felt it you lived it and everything like that yeah. that's why i wonder if like I, this is going back to like another thing i said before but that's why i wonder if like my life is like a simulation for other people to watch to watch yeah i had that thought yesterday too is like what if we're just someone is watching us that's kind of fucked like like this this all right now is just like a movie and yeah. then you and then you have an audience yeah <laughs> it's so funny it's about, super bro. weird it's super weird what if theory right now uh -huh. what if like all of your dead ancestors watch through your vision that's weird crazy <laughs> everyone uh jerking off right now is like oh fuck <laughs> you got <laughs> me it's like a twitch stream oh, yo imagine all like literally all your ancestors because if you think about it, ancestors go time and time yeah. and thousands of years ago Till now, so they could probably tap in because it's still your bloodline, right? Yeah, yeah. Bro, what if it really is like that? The afterlife is really like they can they can just see, oh, let me see what he's doing, my my great 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 great, great grandson, mm -hmm. and then sees what he's doing, and then depending on how I guess how much things are going on in your life, the more watchers you have, mm. or depending on how good you're doing. It just increases and increases. Yeah. No way. That's so it's, it's like it's like donos. <laughs> it's like subs. You have subs and shit. Like you see twenty dollars on the ground. It's like that. That was a, an ancestor donating that. To yeah, you. bro. No, but Loki, that's cool because it's like once we go and like our time is finished, fam. I want to see what comes after me. You know I what I mean? I think I think that's how it is. I would I would love to believe, 
And I think it might be like that where you pass on to the next life and you can act on earth as like an angel or yeah. something, something on the next realm, but you're mm-hmm. still present. You know, yeah. it's like my son and daughter. Like I'm watching my son and daughter grow up, and like they turn into losers. I'm like, I'm up in heaven. Like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you think that happens right now? Like people are up there, like clouding each other of their sons. Mm. I'm like us right now. Be like, they're probably not clouding us because we actually did some shit with our lives. You know what? I mean? Because I I had that that uh, theory before. Is yeah. like, would people really care? But this is the thing mm-hmm. right now. I feel like when you're in paradise or in the afterlife, I feel that there's no worries or there's yeah. no problem mm. like even if you're going through like the worst of the worst it will all lead back to great because great is paradise in the end mm. that's true. as long as you like believe and that's what's for you type mm-hmm. of thing yeah right so i think like if we did have ancestors watching us and shit yeah. i don't think they would clown us and judge us they would be more like Wow, look at this guy. Type I don't of thing. know. I don't, I think, don't think it's more like I a, feel like our ancestors because we say some crazy stories about our ancestors. You think right? it'd be turning over in the grave? Type Not of thing? because it's like okay, say my ancestor was like a pirate in the Philippines. Yeah, and like he lived that crazy life, and then he's looking down at you like, damn, this motherfucker turned into a podcaster of everything. <laughs> Maybe you're right though. But like when you're in the boxing ring, you're like doing your Muay Thai. Like yeah, this is this is what I tune in for. You know what mm, I mean? It's hard to know. <laughs> it's hard to know. It's hard them. to separate fucking like soul and and person. Yeah. Like, damn, it's, it, it blows your mind to think, like, mm-hmm. what is what is your soul? Is your soul also your interest? Soul also your interest? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, fam. Or I is think- it just the passion for your interest? Because you can have passion. Like, you can be very passionate about something, but you can take that passion to something else. Then what's included in your soul, though? Just, it's blank, no? It should be blank. No. Your soul is just a... In my in my opinion, your soul is what you care about with other people and other scenarios. Oh, like your morals. So your yeah, morals. Yeah, I, I believe okay. that's what your soul is. Okay, okay. Like how you feel, how you truly feel about things. Okay, yeah. Then I don't think your your like hobbies and shit are part of your soul. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know, but that's why I'm I'm like wondering mm-hmm. if uh, let let's say let's say let's say you pass right, mm-hmm. is your soul just everything that you loved mm-hmm. and not hated, or is it both? You know what I mean? Gotta like, be both. It has to be both. Yeah, they can't just take the good stuff. What the hell? There's gotta be. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, yeah. That's what it's implemented in you. If you but don't if like- it's heaven, is there bad? That's a that's a question. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? I, yeah. I, I didn't I didn't back this till now. You know the um, the joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? Yeah. You know what's mad dark? What? How is that dark? It's dark as fuck. I didn't I didn't realize it. Okay. Listen. Why did the chicken cross the road? What's the answer? To get to the other side? To get to the other side. Yo, wait, wait, as wait. As in, as in, to the other side, fam. Nah, nah, chill. Because it's crossy road, bro. He's crossing the road because there's cars going to cross the road. Oh, so fun. to get to the other side. But if he gets hit by a car, that's the other side because oh he died, gosh. fam. That shit is dark. No. Way. I didn't Did you that. make that up? Did you make that up? That no, I heard like about this. Shit made that up. No, it's, this is real. <laughs> because what, what I'm thinking is like... Like, whenever I saw that cartoon when I was a kid, yeah. there was a road, and then the chicken on this one, and then, like, the, you know, his home. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, to get to the other side, that's to get to his too. home. Yeah, right? That's not too. No, it's that's not. Because that, that's not the joke. A joke's supposed to be, like, yeah, yeah. like deeper. <laughs> and bro, that makes sense. My, I guarantee now, my little cousin's about to come up to me, like, the next fan joke, he's like, bro, you ruined the fucking chicken one now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because chicken cross to get to the other side. Yeah. That's the fuck. other side. <laughs> type shit, bro. That's yeah, fam. I didn't, I didn't realize it first. Did you ever talk about um because uh, you said you said something about SpongeBob, right? Yeah, yeah. Did we ever talk about the the Mr. Krabs surveillance theory? Did we ever talk no, about that? No, what is that? So I think this is recent, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we talked about it. that's why I'm asking you. But there there's a theory how Mr. Krabs you know how he loves money? Yeah. And he would do anything for money, right? Yeah. There's a theory, because in one episode, he has a room, and Squidward and SpongeBob, they accidentally find it. What? And in the room, there's a whole bunch of, like, screens. Uh-huh. Yeah, the, I, I, I seen that, that room before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they're surveilling everybody, and then one of them is, like, in Sandy's house. While she's brushing her teeth and oh, shit. Oh no, I don't remember that. You don't remember that? So no. Mr. Krabs just has bare cameras 
And then he has hella fucking like screens in this room yeah. surveilling all of Bikini Bottom. So theory goes mm -hmm. that, you know, the, the, the theory how they're radioactive and shit. Uh -huh. Theory goes that Mr. Krabs, since he loves money, okay. he took money to surveil everybody in Bikini Bottom and kind of sell them fuck. out to whoever's like studying them yeah. or who even knows for what reason. Yeah. No, I, I was just gonna say like, oh, maybe he just might be a, a pedo fan. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. Because why is he why is he doing that in the first place? Because I've seen remember the stories I talked about where it's like that one like a uh, child like predator. Yeah, he yeah. Put he went around the city and literally put cameras everywhere. So that's the same shit. Loki is like that too. Yeah. But I think if you think about it on a deep <laughs> level, um, these companies, these fucking like elite companies yeah. that just want to keep running capitalism. That's the greatest way to see your customer. Low key, yeah. Because you see it every day and like you pick up on things. Yeah, and you can see how they react. No, that's and you can see where you can capitalize. Nah. Them, if you really bag it, mm -hmm. what business people really want to do is limit any errors and get you exactly where they want you. Yeah. And if they could do that with all the information mm -hmm. at their hand, they would. Yeah. They would make it so automated. Fam, I think it's getting so dangerous that eventually mm -hmm. picking up your phone is almost like a death sentence that you'll be trapped to That's fun. and it kind of is like that already yeah like you're you're literally it's hard to let go mm -hmm. yeah. it's hard to let go but imagine the point where it gets to dead ass like your brain cannot let go like it's a drug type yeah. of thing i don't know technology is getting fucked and it's like you can see it in uh, like the IRL streams too. Mm -hmm. Like even just being on the internet is scary, right? Yeah. So Ice Poseidon, that guy that I think you talked about. He's, him a, he's the last streamer. Yeah. The, so he went IRL, right? And there was a guy, as soon as he, he came out of a store, the guy like with a fat scooter, he rode straight into him. Oh, shit. Almost breaking his leg. So he... The guy rode and pushed it off last minute, jumped out. Oh, and fuck. It was like, he was like, fuck you, you scammer and shit like that. He was talking shit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it was like, the only way that he could have found him was because he was because watching. Because live stream. Exactly. Yo, that's what is dangerous, yeah. bro. And there was um uh, recent news. I don't know if you heard about this. A Chinese guy pulled a Logan Paul. In the, in the forest? No, not a forest, but like he went into a morgue. Why? Yeah, so what the fuck? I, I think uh, everyone knows about the the Logan Paul one where he went into I, was that Japan? It was Japan, or? It was Japan, Japan, yeah. yeah. And there was a, like a uh, the S forest, and he filmed some guy, right? Mm -hmm. So this guy, this Chinese guy, was different. He went into like this abandoned morgue. Yeah, and it was dark, super dark, and I think um there was like drawers or hatches, right, that mm -hmm. you could open. It's like lockers, and to everyone, like everyone in the chat was saying. Yo, might as well just open one, right? You're, Damn, that's you're bodies. There. Yeah. So he was going, uh, he went into one drawer. Oh, no, no body. Went into another drawer. No body. Fam, the last one, he opened it. Feet. Nah, And the, the person bro. was laying like this. Nah, All you fam. could see, the guy started screaming and running. Fam, I'm like, okay, you... You know what's there. You know what what's the there. Is that, is that worse than the Jake, than the Logan Paul one? Because... You know what I mean? I feel, I feel like it's just as bad. It's just as bad. I feel like just I think the Logan Paul one's worse because he traveled far. Yeah, and he it. made fun of it. And he made fun of it. Yeah, he did make fun but, of but it. But the guy, like when as soon as he seen feet, mm -hmm. like got out of there, started screaming. Yeah. I yeah, I the the worst thing is dis disrespecting the dead because you can't yeah. they can't do anything. Exactly. That's the worst thing to pick on mm -hmm. or like make fun of because what are they gonna do? They can't do anything. That's the most cowardly thing you can do. Yeah. But I mean, if, if you make fun of somebody that's in front of you, then you have a little bit more balls type yeah, of shit. Facts. <laughs> Yo, low key, you seen those videos with the the big Russian guy? And then he goes around and like picks on people? No. So there's this big Russian guy, and then he just like I think I think there was one video. He he was a pretending to be a Uber Eats delivery guy. Yeah. No, he was an Uber Eats. <laughs> what the fuck? But he was pranking the the person that got that got it, the client. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he comes with a bag and meets up with the client. <laughs> he has a burger in his hand, he's eating it. Yeah. Like oh, oh, it this tastes is pretty yours? good. It tastes pretty good. Here, <laughs> have some. He's like, uh. Like, it's all right. You're going to have it. And he's, he's, he's sweating. He's scared. Because, mm. bro, you ever see a big guy? Yeah, what are you going to yeah. do? Are you really going to, like, argue with him? Uh, I mean, yeah, Loki, I will. I'll report it after. But I'm not I'm not fighting him during the thing. Yeah. And then all he did was, like, he's just eating his burger. Yeah. And and then the guy's like, oh, okay. Oh, fuck. I can't Damn. do nothing. And he walks away. But he's like, nah, it's a prank. It's a prank. No. But that's the and smartest shit you thing. could do, though. 
Because, you know, um, uh, Street Beefs. I think there was a Street Beefs episode where uh, some one of the one guy called out like a big bodybuilder. Right. Yeah. And then the, the judge was introducing him. And on this side, uh, the big bodybuilder come out and like he came out all these and stuff. And the dad, when he saw his son calling out, that was his opponent. He's like, OK, stop this. Oh, really? Yeah. He was like he literally went up to camera. He said, stop this. Like he looked at his son. He's like, do you want this? Because look how big he is compared to you. This is not even fair. You're yeah, not even in the, in the same way. And his son's like, I, I feel like the son just lost all confidence right yeah, then and there. Yeah, because if you say that, it was yeah. a fuck. But he's, but it's right though. Like if my son was going off against that, like, bro, use common sense. You're not gonna. That's true. You know what I mean? That is true. You stuff. don't have to prove to anyone that you got the dog in you. You know what I mean? Just go, yeah, that's true. <laughs> the smarter stuff. version is just because it could fuck you up for life. Yeah, man, and then you don't know. Yeah, it, it could literally be the death of you if yeah. you make the wrong decision. Exactly. Type of thing. And would you really want to die over what? Your pride? Yeah. No, you have to... Like, if you were to lose your life, it has to be for something, like, very, very important to you. Mm -hmm. What would that be for you? Uh, I guess just family. Someone, family. Yeah, I was just going to say, someone, like, hitting my mom or dad. Yeah, it would just have to be for family. Yeah, stuff. I would crash out. Oh, my God. <laughs> if I seen some shit, I would literally turn into this. The Joker... <laughs> Like if I heard fam anything touch my mom or dad, she, fam, gets, she gets dark, bro. She gets, <laughs> she gets dark, yo. Cause I was watching this. Um, do you know Zerka? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He he was having this debate with Sneeko, and mm -hmm. this was the this was the best fucking debate I heard. But he was pretty much saying how God, our God, is the most loving. Yeah. Cause he was having conversation with Sneeko, and he said, "What's the most loving thing you could do?" And he said, uh, I don't know, like, care for somebody, blah, blah. And then he goes, no, something deeper than that. Have you seen this clip? No, I haven't. So he said something deeper than that. And he was like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What is it? And Zerka goes, the most loving thing you can do for someone, would you take a bullet for your mom? Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, I guess I would. Yeah. Would you say that's the most loving sacrifice you can give? I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. probably. Dying, dying for somebody, right? Dying yeah. for someone you love. That's what God. You did. would only love, you'd only love someone so much if they you would die for them. Yeah, that makes. And that's fun. what our God did. That's fun. Right? And then Sinko's like, because you know how he converted from Christianity to mm -hmm. Islam, but you yeah. and then Zerka is the opposite. I think he converted from Islam to Christianity. Yeah. So it's just interesting seeing that debate. No, because it's like. I, I feel like Zerka gets painted in a bad light because a lot of clips I've seen about him is like, he's a 35-year-old loser. Like, he just picks on kids, right? Mm. But like, I've seen another clip where um he pages somebody about his necklace. So yeah. there was an industry guy at his house and he was wearing this necklace and they had like um some triangles or some... Uh, it was, it was triangles or symbols of a satanic ritual, mm. right? And he paged him. He was like, whoa, that necklace you're wearing is actually really bad. And then that guy that was wearing the thing, he said... Yeah, I praise. Uh, it's like Lacom. It's, it starts with an L. Oh, I, what the I, fuck? I don't know exactly. Yeah. But as soon as he said his name, like Lacoma or something, Zirko's like, "How do you know about that?" And because wait, wait because why? That that L word means like uh, sacrificing bodies and stuff like that. No. Nah. And then he was like, "You industry people know something we don't." And then mm -hmm. it was fucked because the the industry person came up to the camera and went like this to Zirko. It was like this. No. Nah. So so everyone's saying that. Uh, Zirko was cursed because he uh, exposed that guy wearing the necklace. He oh, literally went up shit. to the camera beside Zirko and he's like, Oh shit. So yeah. he put like some next witchcraft on we him? We don't know thing? though. We don't know because Zirko was uh, smart enough to know about that and he exposed him in front of th th thousands of people. Yo, that's fucked. It is fucked. Like you can tell. Is it, it gets deep, bro. Like these, um, these spiritualistic things. Yeah. There's a whole realm and a whole world of people studying it, yeah. different type of like ritual, mm -hmm. different type of like meanings of things. Mm -hmm. And if you just walk out into the regular world, you would just see what you want to see mm -hmm. without being educated. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's only until you're taught things that you realize there might be deeper meanings to it. Yeah. Because we can just walk out into the mall and just see like ads on the wall. But is the shape in a certain way to appeal to us is it yeah. is it all just like something to sell yeah i mean trying trying to try to take our money propaganda trying to change our our image on things mm -hmm. probably is fam yeah but More how times. can we avoid it we can't you feel me is we just have to be do, do our due diligence and like research you know what i mean yeah. and be aware yo you know what um you know what jet told me i was right. having a conversation with him mm -hmm. and we were talking about like spiritualistic shit but 
He told me, because you know how I was going to go to the army before? Yeah. He told me, like, I think he had a friend that was in the military, mm-hmm. but he said there's a common phenomena that every single soldier goes through. Oh, shit. It's like the third man syndrome, too? Similar. Okay. It's similar. So, apparently, whoever your first kill was, like your first blood, no. there's a common phenomena. And almost every person yeah. that has killed somebody has the exact same dream. Fuck, that's so And crazy. the dream is the person they killed leaning over them in their sleep. Uh-huh. So you're just like sleeping in your bed and they have a dream of the person that they killed looking over them, mm-hmm. looking over their body. And the crazy thing is, like almost every person that has killed somebody has had that dream. And if not, they might be lying. Like they or, or they might have not wanted to speak about it. Okay. Yeah. But there's there's people that deny it, mm-hmm. but they say no, it's because of this and this. But So is that is the dream like um how it's like the, the, that dead person comes up to him like, bro, why'd you do it? Like the, like a guilty type I, of dream? I think so. I it think should so. be. It should be. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like, yeah, if you kill if you really kill someone, bro, it's like there's no way you don't feel any guilt. I feel like that's where it comes from too. If you don't feel any guilt, some the next dream you'll have will f- make you feel guilty. Like you have to feel that some type of thing. I think, yo, what if what if that's real? Like, yeah. it's almost like spectate mode, yeah. and then you just want to fuck with the person that killed. You. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like, <laughs> then how do you explain all the the mass murderers who who go in court and laugh at the parents? You know what, bro? I think they're, I think they're just sick, like in the head type of thing. Oh, sick in the head. Yeah, I think they're just like. Do you think they get those dreams too, or are they prone to it because they're just they're just too out Maybe there? Maybe they do. They do. But how often are we be able to prove that or hear from it, right? Mm. Like even dreams, talking about dreams itself, it's so hard to have proof to it because we can't see what we have in each other's head mm-hmm. until there's a way to put that into digital form. And even still, you could probably manipulate it. Yeah. But how would you really be able to tell what's inside their head exactly? Like yeah. low key, even just the human experience, me experiencing life is so different from you experiencing life, yeah, right? Yeah. And it's hard to know exactly what everyone does and everyone feels. And we think we know what it is. But until you're actually in that person's view and almost life, then you can really like tell Facts. the difference. That's why you don't judge. That's, That's why you don't judge. Because who knows? What if there's like an underlying pain that they walk with every single day, yeah. but you wouldn't ever know because it's something so deep that they would never bring up to you. And sometimes your friends are like that. That's so true. It's because it's like a lot of the... Because you see a guy uh, that goes to court and does the... I don't know if you've seen that that one guy who's like... I think he killed like 14 kids, right? Damn. And then he's like, oh, free me. I'll be home soon, right? But like, if you really bag it, that guy is probably wasn't raised... Like a lot of people are not going to see his story. Yeah, that's true. That's you know what I'm saying. I mean? yeah, yeah. But like, he was probably raised in a bad household. Like he had all these problems, mm. which made him do that. But obviously, it's like... It's, it's not an excuse, it's but it's excuse, still but yeah. a thing of, let's try to understand what happened. But I don't think at that moment, it's like you can't because already there's been people been killed. Like, you've taken away people. Yeah. It's fucked. It's fucked, bro. You could never be a judge because you, <laughs> you'll be too, like... Too double-sided. Too double-sided because I feel like the judges that are really good, you like, have, you, you, have, you, to you be, have, have to... You have to stand be, on one st- thing. Yeah, stand on yeah. things. I stand on, I stand on sides, but... It's very understanding. I, st- I, I, I still understand everyone's yeah. point. That, but I think the judge's thing is to, is to I guess, understand both sides. Yeah. The the jury is the one that actually mm. makes the decision, right? Yeah. Not the but judge. For, for the judge, I feel like you have to sympathize with a side too. You know what I mean? True. Because if, if, you're, if you're sympathizing for both, no one, like, no, no, but look, no that, murderer that's what makes would a, get... That make, that, that's what makes a judge fair. Oh, High key, fuck. that's what makes a judge fair. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, right? Yeah. Damn. W- w- yo, imagine if, like, every single day you walked around, mm-hmm. you had somebody, not like like a person, but, you know, you know, um, in Legend of Zelda, Navi? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like and a flying around, hey, like, an NPC. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that one. Like that? What if you always had something like that with you, walking around before you made a big decision? That's not, I, I would like that? that. I don't think I would like that. 
Because, fam, that's like a cheat code. If I had someone, go this way. You're going to make a million dollars if you go through. That's <laughs> fucked. Like, I, I would rather go make a wrong decision and, like, just end up there. Because okay, that's okay. where life well, what if it's not so? What if it's not so, like, um, I guess, like, So what's easy. the use for it? No, like, it's, it's kind of hinting. Like, it would oh, be no. like, like, you go through that door, you might win a million dollars. I don't know, though. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> then I'll go. <laughs> people with anxiety will start tripping. <laughs> like, in fact, that's the voice in your head. That's another voice. But person. I don't know, though. <laughs> Yo, cross the street, you might die. I don't know, though. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know how, how stressful that shit is? Yo, Loki. Loki wouldn't be sick, though. That's why, that's why Zelda sick, has man. problems, fam, because he's always going. Like, even um, uh, the Pinocchio with the guy. Uh, Who's that little green guy? Uh, Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> Jiminy yeah, Cricket. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably so annoying to that guy because he's like, bro, let me make my own decisions. But he's like, they're like, you got to do the right thing. Because <laughs> it's the conscience, bro. Yeah, it is but conscience. I guess you always have your own conscience anyway. Mm-hmm. So you wouldn't need somebody else's. Yeah. But I guess if you need somebody else's, just have a friend. Mm-hmm. But I feel like those mass murderers and like those those killers. They don't have a conscience. Like, they don't have a conscience and are probably soulless. If they go into court and they're like, ha ha, fuck, like, fuck all the I think there's just like a chemical thing. Like, they just yeah. can't feel certain. Word. Maybe empathy or yeah. whatever it may be. Mm. That's probably what it is. For example, The Joker. Yeah. Did you, you watch the movie, right? Mm-hmm. Fam, that's, that's a great example. Loki, this is on theme. But The Joker, the reason he has such a backing, and this is why it's so realistic, mm-hmm. is because all the people, they kind of related to his situation where, Everybody felt like, yo, they don't care about me. They don't care about this class of people. Oh we're the because they're the, it was the poor versus the rich. Joker was representing the poor. Yeah, because the rich were like tyrants, yeah. putting the poor people even lower and lower. He's and really lower. the real Loki. He's the real hero for that because he took everyone that was feeling like low and probably suicidal. Mm. You know what I mean? That's what. That's why it's right, crazy. Yeah. So what's right? I don't know, man. We don't know what's right, fam. That's the thing. Because <laughs> I don't. I can never say like somebody is exactly wrong. Mm-hmm. Like I can tell somebody's wrong or right, but I can never say like they're doomed forever. And they could never be forgiven. Yeah. I could never say that. I, Carlos does this thing when, like, you're about to make, like, a wrong decision. He, he makes this noise, like, mm, <laughs> you do it, like, yeah, are you, mm, you sure you want to go that way? Like, <laughs> you always do it, like, <laughs> make My noise. sister does that too. Oh, for real? My sister does that. Yeah, you guys mm. all <laughs> that. Yeah, 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 do that You stuff. know what I mean? My sister yeah. does that too. It's the calm before the holiday storm, but you can prepare your e-commerce business for the holiday rush just now by using ShipStation. Whether you're shipping from your house or a warehouse, ShipStation can help increase your profitability. Save time automating your shipping and returns in the ShipStation dashboard and keep costs down with industry-leading carrier discounts while your holiday orders roll in. There's a free trial and it's a quick, easy setup. And now is the time to try ShipStation if you've been on the fence. Trust me, guys. ShipStation has the best shipping prices, the best shipping rates compared to what I was paying before. I only use ShipStation when it comes to shipping my orders. You can quickly and easily update crucial order information and reduce errors. There's effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. You can manage orders, print labels, compare rates, optimize every shipment, and automate delivery notifications. You guys get discounts up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year have become customers for life. So go set up your business for the holiday season success with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com code JUMPERS. You guys know those times where you're hungry but you just don't want to go outside and go have to order it at a restaurant and then bring it all the way back home to enjoy well thanks to doordash you guys can skip all of that process and go straight to eating i'm not gonna lie every single time i feel hungry i think of doordash first because sometimes cooking your own food is too much sometimes it takes a lot of time on your hands and maybe you just don't have that time for everything else so you can quickly and easily go to the doordash app save your time and order your food
food and get it delivered right to your place. Lucky for you guys, you guys get 50% off up to a $10 value when you guys spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass. With Dash Pass, you guys get a $0 delivery fee. So if you guys are planning on ordering a lot, trust me, this is the way to go. Plus with Dash Pass, you guys get 10% off on eligible orders, including groceries, drinks, personal care items, and more. If you guys sign up for Dash Pass right now, you guys get a month for free. But if you guys want to take full advantage for being a Jumpers Jump listener, use code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, and get 50% off up to a $10 value when you guys spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass. That's 50% off up to a $10 value when you guys spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass with code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. Sign up for more and become a Dash Pass member today. Good health starts with good habits and Quip makes it easy by delivering all the oral care essentials you need to care for your mouth. So I don't know if you guys know or noticed that I have braces and the one thing that I hate about having braces is that food always gets stuck in between. Let me introduce you guys to Quip's electric toothbrush. It has timed sonic vibrations with 30 second pulses to guide a dentist recommended two minute clean. It's a lightweight and sleek design for adults and kids. So no wires or bulky charger to weigh you down. It comes with a multi-use travel cover and it doubles as a mirror mount for less clutter. All you have to do is pull this strip off and stick it right to your mirror. Comes with reusable handles in a range of sleek metal hues as well as bright plastic colors sure to make a pop to your bathroom counter. You guys can skip the batteries and snap into healthy habits with the new rechargeable electric toothbrush. All the features of the original Quip plus one magnetic charge powers up to three months of brushing. I promise you guys this is one of the best electric toothbrushes I ever used in my life and that's coming from somebody with braces. The Quip electric toothbrush is loved by over 9 million mouths. On top of your brushing you can upgrade your Quip with a smart motor to track and improve your brushing with the free Quip app. Earn amazing rewards like free refills, products, target gift cards and more. In addition to brush heads Quip also delivers fresh floss, toothpaste, mouthwash, gum refills every three months from seven dollars. If you go to getquip.com slash jumpers right now you guys get 20% off any electric toothbrush mint and gum dispenser and water flosser that's 20% off any electric toothbrush mint and gum dispenser water flosser at getquip.com slash jumpers j-u-m-p-e-r-s that's spelled getquip g-e-t-q-u-i-p dot com slash jumpers quip the good habits company gentlemen across the nation i have a message for you this episode is brought to you by manscape the brand that took your balls to space is now launching them into the ultra sphere and introducing the lawnmower 5.0 ultra featuring a new cutting edge design and next generation dual skin safe blade heads for different shaves it's pretty much a spaceship that takes your boys downstairs to the next level join the 9 million men worldwide who trust manscape with the brand new lawnmower 5.0 ultra by going to manscape.com for 20 percent off plus free shipping with code jumpers high tech for low places manscaped every man knows how scary it can get when going for a close shave below the waist. That's why I trust Manscaped for all my sensitive areas. I'm lucky to be one of the first to try the new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra and to say it's a game changer is an understatement. Manscaped's fifth generation trimmer features two next gen interchangeable skin safe blade heads, a standard trimmer blade for taking a little off the top and a new foil blade to go for that smooth finish whenever your heart desires. No more wet shaving down there? Count me in. This bad boy also features dual LED spotlights to provide contrast contrast on multiple skin tones so you can shed some light on your darkest places. We're talking three length setting cones for all your desired lengths and oh did I mention this trimmer is waterproof too. Taking it on the go Manscaped has you covered. This puppy comes with a travel case and even a travel lock feature to avoid any accidental powering or weird looks on the airport. This right here is on the cutting edge of cutting pubes. Upgrade your ball trimmer and your life will follow. Get 20% off plus free shipping with code jumpers at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off plus free shipping with code jumpers j-u-m-p-e-r-s at manscaped.com your balls have been through enough it's time to go ultra with manscaped but yo I, i've also uh this is some crazy uh since i'm wearing the makeup yeah so there's some crazy uh, clown story some real life clown killer story oh, shit, yeah. with a crazy plot twist right so this the girl that was the victim of it was uh, marlene warren i don't know if you heard of her nah so this woman had 
two kids and um i think she was married to some some guy but i think uh he passed away right mm-hmm. so she remarried to another guy i think his name was michael warren mm-hmm. right so they had their family all set up and a couple years go on and they they start having fights like petty arguments yeah right and marlene even told her mom she was like if anything happens to me that my husband is the one you're gonna have to blame because he's been like trying to harass me, he's trying to assault oh, me, he's trying shit. to everything, right? So it's leading up. Yeah. So there was one night where Marlene was just there with one of her sons, mm-hmm. right? And she hears a knock on the door. So she goes out and she sees a white, uh, I think a white Chrysler parked in front of their house. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I've never seen this car before. And she opens the door after looking through the window. Fam, there's a clown at her, like, in her house with a balloon and flowers. Mm. So the clown doesn't say anything. She gives the Marlene the fl- uh, the balloon. She gives Marlene the flowers. Takes out revolver, straight to the face. Shot her in the head in front of her son. Fuck. Yeah. So everyone was like, "Okay, we already know who this is. This is the husband." Yeah, yeah. Right. The husband comes back home. She's like, "What happened to my wife?" The kid's like, "No, I know you did this. I know you did this, fam. Whole time." The husband had um, allies saying, no, he was at this place. He was at this place. Mm. So the police is like, what the fuck? Who did this? Right? So there was like some uh, a spirit Halloween type store. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. across the road. And the they interviewed like the cashier. He said, it wasn't a guy that was here. It was a girl. Uh, she bought the same uh, ha- clown costume. She bought the red and white face paint. So turns out the whole time, the, the M- Michael's having an affair with the, that one girl that killed his wife. Oh, shit. So it, f- I, I forgot her name, but it was it was the person that was literally having an affair with Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, fuck that. I want you out of the equation. Bob, I'm going to go to your house in a clown costume. In the clown costume? Yeah, in the... I don't know. She didn't have to do but it. But why in the clown costume? I don't know. Just because? Yeah, just because. What the fuck? Yeah, it's fucked. <laughs> this real-life clown killer. Man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she couldn't choose something else. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, yeah, it would have been easier to just. Go, I mean, yeah, it would look. It would have been easier to go as yourself. But I feel like she thought that okay, let me have some makeup on at least. Oh, and, and try to disguise myself. What do you think the mythology of it is? Because just even even the way a, a clown looks, mm-hmm. like why does it look like this mm. type of thing? Why does it look like that? I don't know. You know, like the shape, the colors. Why? Is that so prominent? Even just in the in old times, like the jester times, yeah. it's interesting because it doesn't look funny. It looks more scary than funny it looks kind of scary, right? Yeah. So maybe there is a d- deeper meaning than clowns, and they were supposed to be funny. Hmm. Maybe they actually were just like the straight killers of the town, and that's why they dressed up like this. Oh, maybe it's like um to throw your mind off because if Marlene saw a person in a mask, yeah. Oh fuck, I'm dying. Oh. But it's like, oh, oh, it's a clown? Yo. You know what I mean? That's a good point. Yeah. Because a clown's supposed to be friendly. Exactly. So <laughs> back in the day, like clowns would be just fun. Yo, yo, yeah. that's why. Mm-hmm. Yo, theory right now. So originally, because we know clowns are supposed to be for joy yeah. and happiness. But the, the what makes it scary yeah. is they put that edge to it of making it a killer. So joy and happiness becomes what? Yeah. Becomes scary exactly death and it's like um something that triggers in your mind where it's like uh if something funny goes to something really bad mm. it, it it triggers a more scarier instinct in your mind like that's not supposed to be how yeah that is. you know what i mean that's like um there's this rick and morty episode but it's mm-hmm. something that's super cute but it's like the most dangerous thing in exactly. the world but it, it strikes fear because it's like that's not normal it's not supposed to be cute yeah. it's, it's too cute it's dangerous type yeah, thing. yeah facts. then it becomes like a shorty if, she, if she's too pretty she might be dangerous she might be, right? dangerous, she might be toxic to you oh my that's the perfect one she might be toxic to you yeah, bro 100% yo that's mm. a great yo are they modern day clowns fam <laughs> holy shit all the pretty girls like, oh, yo, what did we do? <laughs> they're watching. They're the trying fuck? to play you, bro. They're trying to clown you, fam. I know. Yeah, you can't actually be dealing with that. That's why they, they you got to go for the medium pretty ones, <laughs> not not the pretty pretty ones, the medium pretty ones. <laughs> yo, yo, you know what I what I learned? Um, so in comics, you know X Men. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, Wolverine, Wolverine. Oh the, yeah, with yeah. the three claws or six claws, sorry. But he always wears what color? Yellow and blue. Yeah, yellow and blue. Yeah, right. But the other X Men. 
they don't they don't always wear those colors. Uh-huh. They usually wear like darker colors. Yeah. Now, why does Wolverine though have the brightest one, the yellow and blue? Why? Fuck. Um, yellow is royalty or something like the nah, not one? even like that. What? Bag this. <laughs> Wolverine wears the brightest colors uh-huh. so that he attracts all the enemies to him. What? So all of his teammates won't take the first hits. And he will because Wolverine can, his power is he regenerates Damn. and he can take the most damage. So it's like him sacrificing himself, yeah. making himself the target mm. so that his homies can Damn. be free type of thing. That's that's a W sacrifice to be honest. Right? Yeah. But one thing I, I found out with the mythology of like yellow, mm-hmm. there's like a subconscious thing. I don't know why, but the color yellow. It stands out. It's the most iconic in media. Why? Think about it. McDonald's. Mo- most iconic characters ever. Pikachu is yeah. what? Yellow. Pac-Man is what? Yellow. Kill Bill. Damn. Bruce Lee Naruto is the yellow. The yellow Nar- hair. Naruto, yellow hair. Holy shit. Name one. Name one. Um, Probably has yellow, fam. Superman has a yellow logo. Batman has a yellow logo. Oh, shit. The only one, I guess, Spider-Man, but like, yeah. you know? Didn't he have like a yellow and blue suit? No, nah, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's going to be... Fam, there's low key so minions. Oh, sh- yellow, bro. I guess, yeah. Minions is so popular. Fuck, this shit is yellow. There's low key. There's so many things that like they play with us and they use us for. Mm-hmm. They know, okay, we're gonna make it this, and it will get this much people because of that. It's like almost so calculated. Maybe it's I too know. obvious. Yeah. Do you know what I seen in the this is off topic, but you know I went to the Dom Corleo concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something just fall from my face. I think it's a piece of the thing. Oh. It's a piece of the color. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? It's like a crayon. <laughs> but yeah, um, I went to the Dom Corleo concert and you know when artists have like um shit flashing in the back? Yeah, yeah. And I think this also happened with some other rapper, but with Dom Corleo, he had um a picture flashing in the back and it was him, his face and like uh Jesus. Uh, you know how Jesus had the the thorns? The, yeah, thorns. I'm like that's kind of odd, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then, like, when we went to Polo G, it had like the the snakes, and then um a rapper, I forgot what his fucking name was, but comment down below if you know. He had uh he got like this critic he he got criticized because he had the Antichrist logo put up on his set for for like five seconds, and all of Damn, this, what and the fuck? you know, imagine you're jumping in the crowd, yeah, and your uh, uh rapper is supposed to be like a Christian supporter, so you see this and you're like. So it's Wait, anti, it's anti, yeah, yeah. like so, God. Yeah, it's anti Christ. He, he's everyone saw it. It's like time out. Everyone started booing him. And I was like, whoa, that's kind of sick. How they all realized that though. Oh, so this is the first time they switched in. Yeah, favor. yeah, yeah. And like he got criticized. He's like, yo, I, my production team. I didn't know like that was up there. And yo, shit like that. I'm like, that's crazy. You never know, man. Yo, because at the at the same time, we don't know for sure if it is the artist yeah. or if it's the team behind them. Exactly. Yeah. Because there's such a there's usually like a team that will allow things to happen. So that's why whenever mistakes are made in media, mm-hmm. I feel that it's already planned to be like that. See, that's crazy. Because you have like, what, 12 men in the boardroom and they're all going to allow oh it? Oh my, yo, I just bagged that too. Like, imagine like, say you don't want to, you, you don't sell your soul. Yeah. Right? But your manager Wants is a person to. that sold, you know what I mean? Mm. Wouldn't that be, yeah, wouldn't that be selling your soul because you're a part of him you're part of his. I guess it's too. just association, though. Association. I don't know if it's exactly. Yeah, that's scary too, because you have to really bag that. They might not sell your soul, but they might give it to you in a different way. Mm. Like you might be partnered up with this guy, which is fuck, yo, the industry, man. I think you're good, though. I think you're really? good, because if if somebody, if it's just like somebody that's on your team, yeah, it's not necessarily you, because you could. You could still make a difference. I guess, yeah. You know, but if if you were the one to call the shot and you made the decision, because I feel like everybody just has a choice. Okay. And if you made the choice, yeah. then it's different. But if somebody else made the choice for you, <laughs> mm-hmm. that's true. That should true. be in the clear type yeah. shit. <laughs> they were they were clowning on Yachty too, because um he went to Vancouver recently, right? Mm-hmm. And the pit was super small because I bet like uh, a lot of people didn't want to pay extra for the the mosh pit tickets, right? Yeah. So before uh, he played slide. He said, everyone, this is not a Yachty concert. Everyone from the, the top, come down to the bottom. So everyone bum rushed. Like, you know, the Travis concert. That's how oh, people got killed. Fuck. Right? It like flooded. Yeah, so it started flooding. And he said, this is what I this is what I mean. Play the music. And oh, everyone started shit. jumping, right? Yeah. The organizers, they're like, 
everyone go back to your seats or we're shutting it down. Fam, no one wanted to budge because they're they're, t- they're, they're having they're, fun. Yeah, yeah, they're having fun. Ca- canceled, fam. Damn. So that that was Loki Yadi's fault. I would that that uh, that that happened because fam, you're calling everyone. That's not good. Yeah, that's dangerous. Still, exactly. that's dangerous. But that's what they want you to have fun, and I see the appeal to it. Right, exactly. you're supposed to have such a big moment there. Yeah. At the same time, it's everybody's lives yeah. too. Which I was be I I want, would want a refund just because he said that. Because he's like, "Yo, bro, if I'm in the pit and I paid for these tickets, calling everyone down and ruined it for us." Yeah, that's messed Yo, up. That's messed up. That's messed up. <laughs> so they jumped in. Yeah, they, everyone rushed. Like it was a Travis Scott like Travis Scott concert. Damn, bro. You know what I mean, that's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Played two mosh pit songs. Done. Damn, do you think I could do that at a Travis concert? I could like run into the, the probably, pit? yeah, low key. I feel like they would just allow they would allow it, fam. Not that yeah. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, not that I'm gonna do oh, it. But that's like, a safety hazard. <laughs> you gonna see me jump in, Swanton Bob? <laughs> Yo, I think, I think the Travis concert, like I'm gonna go to it. It didn't have that many uh, ticket sales. Oh, he's not surprisingly. Sorry. Is it because it? He was canceled for a bit, and like maybe he was thing. Do you think it's because of Astro World that people don't want to go? Maybe, probably, or it's because like um, because it's a question in the air now yeah. type of thing. Or you can look at it on a deeper level when he was like uh, doing all that satanic shit, and he did the the Astro World. He did the ritual with the the big, you know, the big ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sold out concert. But since now he he transferred to God's side. Oh, there's no like selling, backing. Yeah, there's type. no backing. Mm. But like. Travis is still going to do his concert because he trusts God. Like, okay, these are the people that support me. That'll come. Yeah, you know that's, I mean? that's a good point still. You that's can, you can look at it on a deeper level, but... Yeah, because does... Yo, mm-hmm. does all of, like, fame, fortune, and and all of that stuff come from an evil? An evil, yeah. And sometimes it does. And especially in the rap community, fam. You're If you're not rapping about uh, shit no more, if you're not rapping about drugs, lean... You know, killing yeah. people, you're not going to get that same pull. Yeah, a great point of that is you can look like a, at, a, at an artist, let's say, like Kendrick, and yeah. he was always rapping about real shit. Exactly. They don't want to hear that anymore. They want to hear bullshit. Yeah. They don't want to hear real shit. As soon as uh, Travis dropped, like, the, the God knows, yeah, everyone is out still. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> like, your shit probably dropped, but it's so fucked. And still to this day, people don't like Donda, and it's the people that don't, you know. Yeah, and it's funny. It's Is it a coincidence that Ye also produced his album that not a lot of people are coming out? Because mm. it might, maybe he's associated to Ye. Maybe. Because I know the top G, I can't say the name, yeah. but a lot of people that still associate with him, they can't get any uh, backing from companies mm-hmm. at all. Yeah. At all still. Mm-hmm. And that's almost like a death sentence. And it sucks because what if you associated with someone before they were quote unquote canceled? Yeah. Would you be considered canceled because you're still with them in the mm-hmm. beginning? I guess it has to be like how how soon, right? I don't think so. I don't think you would. I wouldn't blame someone Because if, if Drake said some shit cancelable and 40, 40 wouldn't get canceled for that. Okay, but now, now let's say like... You can look at Jeffrey Epstein's island. Okay. That's the same shit. So uh, let's say fucking Steve Jobs is beside Jeffrey Epstein. Mm. Chill with oh, him before. Okay. Fuck. Is that not the same shit? Fuck. You get yeah. me? Because we can't we can't do it when it's when it's convenient. We gotta do it on Yeah. No, you have a point there still. Cause like in pictures, yeah, you guys probably did the same shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. See, I, I feel I feel we give um, a bias mm-hmm. depending on what genre of, of people it is. Facts. Isn't that Loki, crazy? Loki, if like some country al- artist did something, no one likes yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm that saying. Book. That's what I'm saying. It depends on the genre of people and uh-huh. the audience. It's taken differently. Mm-hmm. Uh, a comedian, for example. Fans of a comedian, they're not going to cancel a comedian for, for saying outlandish shit. But... When the comedian is on national television now and says something, then they might be canceled. Even if they didn't say something, even if it's just straying to like one political side Mm -hmm. or even just an ideal. Yeah. They just want to cancel him. They just want to take him out. They just want to throw him in the garbage (laughs) because they don't match up to the agenda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Andrew Schultz is friends with um, that other guy that I said, the comedian. He got canceled right before he went onto live television because he said the C word for Asians. Oh, really? Yeah. So he was supposed to be... The next to, like big comedian was gonna be on SNL. Yeah. In an interview, he dropped like the c word, and he got he, he got, got out of there. Yeah. Canceled? And Dave Chappelle, he was he's so funny because he took him on tour, right? Yeah. 
and he said, you know, uh, I'm going to introduce my, my opener. He was about to be the next big thing, but dropped the C oh, word. Yo. And like, he brought everyone that was canceled onto his show. Oh, that's yeah. sick though. And I think Andrew Schultz was like canceled a, a few years ago, but he ended up selling like selling out the Rogers Center like twice. Mm. So you can't really cancel, you know, a comedian. Because do you think everybody's uh, titled to their opinion and yeah. are they allowed to say whatever they want? Mm-hmm, yeah, because back then you wouldn't get canceled for yeah, that. Yeah, you wouldn't get canceled. Because <laughs> if it's on a point of... Um, if you don't like it, then just don't watch it type thing, you know? Exactly, yeah. My opinion. Why, why are you bothering him with it? Yeah, no. But I think it's different. This is me playing like both sides. I think it's different when there's you know there's going to have such an audience mm-hmm. and whatever you promote is obviously going to have an effect on the population. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, in a Disney movie, and you already know bear kids are watching that, mm-hmm. right? If you lean them to one side of an opinion, they're probably going to grow up with that opinion. Yeah. You know the... um. The Disney movie with the emotions. Yeah. What's Inside that one? Out. Inside, Inside Out. Inside Out, yeah. yeah. So everyone was saying that they related the most to to the sad one. Mm. So imagine every kid grows up sad now. Like, they want to be that character. Mm. Bam. Like, I don't think they made the happy character good. Like, I feel like he was like a bad character. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was more of the, everyone remembers the angry one. The red, the hothead. Yeah, fam. Bam. Okay, I, I really hope I don't offend anybody. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think it's that serious, but you know how there's a whole culture back in the day of, uh, like, emo? Okay, yeah. And yeah. we made it cool to be almost depressed. Opium, opium. Yeah. Yeah. Made it cool to be depressed. <laughs> Isn't that, like, the worst thing possible? Why yeah. would you want to promote people being depressed and make it cool? Mm-hmm. And wouldn't you want to change it? Because if, if you're constantly promoting it, wouldn't you be stuck in that state? Yeah, probably. Isn't that fucked? Mm-hmm. Hopefully I didn't offend people because I know there's people that mess with that like yeah. culture because mm-hmm. it is a culture. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like why would you want to feel sad? Yeah. All I the know. time, you know. I I seen this story too, where it's like there was some guy named Elmer, right? And he was a super like bad kid mm-hmm. and depressed, right? But his mom gave him up for adoption. Yeah. Right. And I guess he the only way to get out of it, or, like his only job was to go in the military, right? So when he died. No one came to his funeral and no one paid his fees, right? Yeah. So some guy took his body and put his body in um like uh you know those fun houses? Oh, you put it in, in the like the live Yeah, so fucking- so he put his body in the laugh houses because he's like, There's no one this body is going to waste. You know what I mean? Let me just put Damn. his body in the thing, right? And it's crazy because it's like uh all the kids thought uh that everything was fake and they knew that one was real especially because whenever they went in the fun house they were like this guy stinks like this mannequin oh, fucking stinks shit. right and he was a real body <laughs> and it's crazy too it's like they were some uh they were filming something yeah. and wanted to use that fun house as a as a prop like a, a scene in the in the movie mm-hmm. and the director he was like uh i don't like how that body's uh, looking right now. Can you move it? Right? Mm-hmm. So the, the director goes up to the body, moves his arm, arm falls off. What he sees in the arm is his bones and shit. Ew. He's like, wait, what the fuck? Like, this is a real person. Like, yo, can someone like get yeah, on this yeah, case? Yeah. So they reported it to police, found out that it was Elmer in that in that um fun house. Damn. Yeah. But yo, like, yeah, it was fucked. But you know, there's some people that they donate their body though to I guess not, not that. Yeah, but, but this this was different because some guy was like, "Let me take it." You so he I mean? didn't have a choice. He didn't have a cho- fam. He was dead. Like, like, oh yeah, and then he didn't yeah, have anybody didn't have like watching cho- over. Exactly. It, I guess. He was it's like, true. no friends, no nothing. No one came to the thing. Was, the The only way to pay off the body was to get the body, I guess. Yeah. Which is fuck. Why do you, Why do we make jack o' lanterns? Jack o' lanterns. To s- I feel like I swear it's like one of those things where like it's to scare to away scare, the ghost. Scare yeah, jack jack o' lanterns are actually really good because it's like light. Yeah, it's like the crow thing. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure light is what keeps away keeps like away. evil spirits. Type of facts, thing. facts. But when it's dark, mm-hmm. but you celebrate Halloween at night. Oh, you know what's crazy too? Loki. Because you know how back then everyone was dressing up, going to trick or treat, like all the kids and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, this fuck. So uh, you know how uh, Travis said, like, oh, the trumpets, like, all the the rock bands are going on their last tour. Oh like, yeah, all their evil people Man, are going on their last so true. tour. You see how Halloween is Loki fading with the kids. Oh, like you can say like yo, and like everyone is being aware of this. Like 
Loki, the the artists are giving up. They're literally say putting the word S on their thing. They're Loki yeah. just throwing everything out there. They're like they're taking the last all in bet, mm. right? You think some shit's about to happen now? Cause maybe not a lot of people are dressing up for Halloween. They're not they're not doing it no more. Yeah, cause do kids? I th- I feel like with kids though, cause yeah. we're a little bit older. We have to see from from cause I have yeah. younger. Yeah, you know I mean younger cousins, and I see them all the time. Yeah. I think they're still super into it. Word. The tradition of like trick or treating, I still think it's a little bit live. I felt like it is dying though. I think in the sense of theme, Mm -hmm. because one thing is the content. Because during the times we would watch on TV, everything on TV is Halloween. Mm -hmm. Halloween movies, Halloween shows, even just the 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 in-between moments. Commercials are Halloween themed. You know what I mean? But the only things that would be Halloween themed are the content that you watch on YouTube now mm-hmm. or wherever you see it. And it just depends on like if those creators want to make it that theme. That's true. If they want to like play into it type of yeah. shit. Yeah, damn, I don't know. But that is kind of weird that the, all the rock fans are doing their last tour, fam. You know that episode of uh, Fairly Odd Parents where everybody turned into whatever they dressed up as? Oh really? Oh yeah, with the that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, I, remember that. I remember that shit. That was so sick. That that's literally Halloween though. It's like it, in like real life. No, they turned like they became. Oh, they like if someone dressed up as a snake, they would become a yeah. snake. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of fun. Like somebody was a, a mummy. I think Chester was a mummy, and he became like an actual mummy. Oh shit. Yeah, and I then don't remember that his one. other friend was like a. Uh, Frankenstein and became yeah. Frankenstein, Damn. but there was a really cool one uh-huh. because one of his friends was um, he was like a fucking superhero. Yeah, and he turned into like a machine. It was so crazy. Fuck. It was so crazy. <laughs> Imagine only if we had that day on Halloween. It was like in this day you can literally be everyone you want. You would get Who the would powers you, and yeah, shit. You would get your powers. Oh, that's a great question. Who would you dress up as? Oh, fuck. Maybe Iron Man. Iron Man, that would be. I feel like that's the basic answer. Like going as a superhero. Iron Man? No, like going as any superhero. True. You Superman know what I mean? too. Too might be crazy. Yeah. Loki, I would go as the Joker, fam. Imagine just being the Joker for but a day. Joker's a real, this is a regular guy, bro. <laughs> no, but imagine just like everyone fears me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like you see a Joker in the subway and you're like, what the hell is going on? Yo, Loki, you don't you don't be sick fucking Charizard, bro. <laughs> I dress up as a Charizard. I'm flying. I can breathe fire. That's, that is kind of fire. That's hard. <laughs> that's kind of fire. That's hard. Yo, look at would be a Pokemon. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, that's cool too. Pokemon. I wouldn't want to be like a celebrity because I feel like that's whack. Yeah, that is whack. It's just a regular person with money. Yeah, yeah. I think Pokemon I think, would be. I think sick. A, a, a myth, any mythical creature that doesn't exist would be the right chance. But what if? Because uh-huh. this is the way, like, um, those scary demonic shit work Mm -hmm. what if you take part in that halloween thing where you get to turn into whatever but you accidentally get trapped forever as that person (laughs) that would be sick like forever charizard (laughs) yo and like you can't even link up with your parents no more because whenever you talk like fire comes out your mouth yo that's sad bro that's like um thing that's like that movie we talked about tusk oh yeah Tusk. where he turned into a a walrus that's Mm -hmm. so sad i think that's one of the scariest things is is being trapped Mm -hmm. like you can't change that's yeah, yeah. sad, especially when it's not your own doing. Mm-hmm. Damn. Do you think? Do you think ever that um, you know how we have that second voice in our head? Mm-hmm. That do you do you ever get to like one of those days where that second voice starts talking and you feel like maybe one day that it'll just take over? Like never. Whatever that um alter ego of you is, mm. will just one day will just oh you're never not not even Carlos no more. Low key, like everything about me and everything mm-hmm. with me is for me. Yeah, they were we're all on the same team type of shit. Mm-hmm, yeah. You know, my fingers were all working together. Yeah, like my knees were all working together. My mind all working together. Because because if you really bag it, some some person told me this. Some people like have the, if you're on Instagram, you're kind of showing people the cooler side of you, right? Or like mm-hmm. that's not really the real you mm-hmm. on Instagram, right? So somebody said that if you had an alter ego on Instagram. Every day you wake up, you actually, and you log on to Instagram, you're already transforming into that alter ego. So you think you become who you try so to yeah, be? Yeah, yeah. So you're it? not, so in life, the people that are really uh, locked into that alter ego. I would like to think is, my my Instagram version of me is the same though. Yeah, Loki. <laughs> Loki. I would like to think it's the exact same. Because mm-hmm. I don't try to portray someone I'm not. Mm-hmm. Like, I literally just try to be me. Yeah. Because if it's, if it's to a point of, um, like I'm trying to be somebody, mm-hmm. I would already be it. Yeah. Type of thing. I wouldn't try. Mm. 
it would all just I would already just be type of thing, you know? Because yeah. you can connect it was like maybe celebrities, the people that really sold their shit, they're not even themselves no more because they can't be. Cause like they they put on this persona for so long that it just turns out that you know what I mean? Yeah, because the the sad thing is is people have a thing that they people can't change, but people always change. We change tomorrow. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Like man's change tomorrow. It's no biggie. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, because you see all the time, look, somebody um they go on a workout like regiment. Mm. They come out D's or they come out like looking super different. Yeah. Yeah, they changed. Mm. You no, know, probably their mindset changed too. Yeah. And their persona also probably changed. Yeah. So to think of somebody as a stagnant thing mm-hmm. or as a as a this is what this person is, is almost impossible. Mm-hmm. Because everybody's moving all the time. Facts, facts, facts. And if you think about the universe, fam, mm-hmm. like we're all just molecules moving. Oh god. Shit yeah. changes too. Mm-hmm. And like the, the saddest shit too is like always on New Year's is like, yo, what what would you want to do uh the next year to grow? And then someone obviously like the quote is like, Oh, I would I would be sad if I was the same person I was last year. You know what I mean? Like there's no growth at all. <laughs> really? Well, why? Yeah, no, because that that's true though. Because like if you really bag it, say you made no progress, barely any growth from the last year. I would be sad too. Like shit. You know what? I wouldn't be sad because I know like I would still <clears throat> Cause, cause to me, like, cause no, you no. have to grow. Like, regardless, you have to grow in some way. Like, there's no way in a year you don't experience something that that doesn't make you grow. If you don't do that, that means you're actually not outside enough and living life. You know what I mean? That's why I would no, be sad. But the reason, the reason I say I wouldn't be sad, yeah, is because it's not too late. Yeah, it's not. But like, I that that would be kind of a disappointing. Like, fuck, guy, it's already been a year. Like. Yo, like, come on, man. But I don't, I don't look at it as what happened in the past. You should be worried about. You should be worried about what are you doing. Mm. You know, like, fuck the past. Feel yeah. me? Well, what are you gonna do? Mm. Like, cry in your bed? <laughs> yeah. Like, do, do now, fam. Guess, yeah, like, yeah. get up, Fact. type shit. You want to make it go? Like, it's as easy as that. But people yeah. don't realize that. And this is what I really, really bagged mm-hmm. is. The most successful people and the people that I see that always make it to the top. And I, I, I found this trend after watching so many documentaries recently that the people that succeed and the people that do well, mm-hmm. they're the people that look at things to do because it's challenging, mm-hmm. not because it's easy. The people that do it because it's easy are the ones that stay the same. Mm-hmm. But the people that do shit because it's challenging. You know the people that, like, you probably had older siblings, or I mean, older siblings or older cousins or role models that are like, yo, let's do it. It, 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 looks, it looks like it'll be hard. Let's yeah. try it. Mm-hmm. Those like are the people, those are the people that, that are successful. Facts. And that's what I learned. Because, fam, to be, to change and to change who you are, change is supposed to be hard. Yeah, it's not. To, to mold something out of what it was, mm-hmm. Right. It's supposed to be hard, yeah. but you can obviously take easy steps to it. Yeah. It just won't be as drastic. And if you want to be a great, you know what I mean? You want to be completely different from, from the average, mm-hmm. you better be working fucking harder. Facts, bro. You know? You, you better be working like nonstop <laughs> because if you want to be a goat, because people say like, oh, I want to be the goat. And then just what? What are you going to do? Yeah. You better be working like even harder than who you see is great type mm-hmm. of shit. Yeah. You heard that Kobe story where the, um, so Team USA was like on the most craziest streak, like undefeated, right? Mm-hmm. So Kobe, Carmelo, everyone, after the game, they were like, oh yeah, we're, we're about to hit the club, right? And they, they're leaving their hotel room, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. I think it's like 4 a.m. And all they see in the elevator is Kobe getting in, but he's not in the club shit. He's going to work out at 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> after their win. They have every superstar, so they don't even need practice, right? Kobe's like, fuck that. Like, I'm going to go and work out right now. And it, like, led on to, like, this um domino effect where they're like, they started Yo, doing we it too. really need to lock in right now. So mm-hmm. everyone at 4 a.m. started working out with Kobe and, like, it, it put a smile on his face. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because it takes one person to be great to change everyone else. Yeah. It's, um, there's this effect. I forgot exactly what it's called. Oh, it's the four mile I mile? think I think it's like, uh, fuck, I forgot what it was. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's like you can't run a mile in four minutes, yeah. something like that. Okay. But it was, it was a record that could never be broken okay. until one person did it, and then like 20 other people did it in the same week. Damn. But it took one person to do it for everybody else to believe it's possible. Yeah, that makes sense. And then other people could do it. 
Yeah. But that's that's what makes it great, bro. You have to you have to take somebody that does the unknown and isn't fearful of the fucking consequences mm-hmm. and is excited about the challenge yeah. to motivate somebody else. Because those are the rare traits, right? The average man, one percent, we don't really like realize how much one percent is. One percent is very, very, very rare. Mm-hmm. Like ninety nine, ninety nine percent of people wouldn't do it. Yeah. To be a one percent person, you have to be different. Facts, facts. I mean, you have to be like, and that's scary to go out there and be the different one. Yeah, because it's like, fuck you. You have so much to go. You have so much to complete. It's like a ninety-eight percent, ninety-seven percent. Oh, finally, people mm-hmm. are catching on. But once it like moves, you know what I mean? I think slowly, like the way my development is going, I still partake in in things that are are fun and a lot of people do. Yeah. But slowly and slowly, I'm trying to like drift away, and you can see this. You yeah. definitely see it's like slowly, slowly. I'm trying to like find my own thing that I like. Yeah. Rather than just do it because everybody else is for the experience. Because mm. eventually, like, you have your experience. Yeah. And, and then, and, like, I see it, too. is like, you don't fall into peer pressure at all because, like, oh, yeah, you're around by everyone that's, like, that's the occasion. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. But you're like, no, I'll do it in a different way. This is what I like. I'm not going to drink alcohol. I'll drink wine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. It's just good to, because what I want to inspire other people to do is, is just do what you truly want. Because mm-hmm. a lot of the times we feel we're obligated to do what we're we're supposed to look like mm-hmm. or we're supposed to feel like i don't know yeah. and then when you when you play under other other people's rules mm-hmm. then you feel like you're not in control yeah and what i learned a lot growing up is fucking you want to be in as much control as possible but it is hard mm-hmm. like it, it it takes a different type of mentality for that and it does take pain yeah but it's worth it in my opinion no, because it's like, I feel like everyone gets into a phase of their years where I guess it's like outgrowing your parents because mm-hmm. like you finally know what you want to do, right? Yeah. But like, and you're like, you become logical and there's like situations where it's like, you go to your parents and you tell them your ideas, but they don't get it because they've, they've they're used to a they're life, used to that, a lifestyle, right? yeah. Yeah, and, and you're as a, as a kid or they, since they see you as a kid, they're not going to take what your opinion says and like try to get help from you because you're a kid right mm. so they're gonna push you away because i feel like everyone goes through that like just outgrowing your parents is mm. kind of weird see that's the thing is it disrespectful it's to, not though i know that's the problem yeah that's the problem but they but take it, it as this i think it's like the the filipino like mindset I, I feel like it's not even filipinos like everyone just, deals with it like people everybody's yeah, like that like, yeah. there's definitely kids out there where like oh you try and give your dad advice no, that's disrespect. Don't talk to me like that because yeah, you're a yeah, kid. Yeah. You don't know. You haven't lived this life. But fam, if your parents really understood you, like they would take advice. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yo, because like obviously no offense to to a relative yeah. or any relatives, but I would have somebody that they have aspirations to do something. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I could really, really like help them, mm-hmm. but they wouldn't want to listen and they would want to pitch this other concept instead and do it this way and then they try it and it obviously doesn't work and i try and help them and show them like it would work this way if you just i don't know believe in me because you should believe in me because it becomes a thing of like okay now you don't it's almost like you don't give me credit yeah what i've done Mm. it's like you just want to prove me that i'm still less than you yeah yeah Yeah. and it's not a thing of like being better it's it's just a thing of I guess you're just not proud. Mm. You know? I get that, fam. I right? Get that, yeah. But it's just... I, it's like and an you're ego. Not, it's yeah, like and you're ego. not wrong, too, by by trying to help them because that is the right move. It's yeah. just like, they didn't take your advice. Like, that's... Yeah, it's just a it's just an ego that comes yeah, with it. I know. I don't know, like, bro. Sometimes pride gets too t- into two people's way and it's like, yeah. can't cross. Ah, fuck. It's yeah. that that's the hardest one, especially when it's with somebody you really care about, mm-hmm. because it's like you want the best for them, but they do, they don't want the best in that way. You know, yeah. Yeah. like they they wouldn't want it to be because of that. Cause I guess they just want to do it on their own. Like, oh, I found this. I found my solution. Yeah, kinda. but why? But but why would you like come to me then? I don't know. Ah, uh-huh, you used to do that though too. To ask for people. Yeah, you used to. Oh, you can't say that because. I get why people do that because maybe they just want to hear other opinions, but they're always going to stand on what they stand on. Mm-hmm. But it's like, at the same time, you did come to me for advice too, but you just didn't. No, 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 no. But, but okay, it's different. The situation is oh, different, it's different because it's like, um, they wanted help. They wanted help to do something. Yeah. So they're asking me for help, 
but they didn't want my solution to it type of thing. Okay. So I they wanted it. me to help them with their way. Mm. So you're asking me for my time to help them. Yeah. But in in their like way to work type of thing. Okay. And it, it's not it's not like a it's actually like work. Yeah. It's yeah. not you know. Okay. But like they it's, were it's so, hard to say it because I don't want to say it. Yeah. But but they were so set on their plan like. Like, they wouldn't even hear opinions, but they asked you anyways. Yeah, they would just say, oh, that's wrong. Got you, got they you. They like, oh, that's I wrong. Know. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, oh, okay, fine. All right. I know. Y'all, you could have been rich right there, oh, fam. Right. I guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know? Yeah, facts. I don't know, bro. Yeah. I don't know, though. Yeah. I don't know, though. <laughs> Let them live with whoever, you know what I mean? Uh, do you have another scary story you want to end it off on? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have another scary story. Yeah, do, you, do you have, like, a personal story? A personal story for Halloween? Yeah. Oh, I might actually. Yo, okay, so I have this story. Uh-huh. And I don't know, I don't know if it's a fucking, I don't know if it's like a, a Mandela effect or not. Okay. Because you know those times where you have a memory, but you think it's a dream, <laughs> yeah. but you don't know if it's real life, uh-huh. but it feels like real life. So we were walking down this, um, this street mm-hmm. during Halloween. And it was the biggest mansions ever. Yeah. And we were getting the biggest, like, chocolate bars and shit, right? Okay. But I remember walking there. We did it. We did a trick-or-treat. Then we got home. Yeah. Because all my cousins are with me. We got home. And you know that thing where we all looked through the candy? Oh, okay. Where was the chocolate bar? What? None of us had the big chocolate bars from the mansions that we visited. Wait, so what the fuck did you guys get then? That's what. That's why I'm like, wait, was this real? Wait, but what? we all, but we all remember going to like these big benches. But in our head, what if it wasn't? So where were you guys the whole time? You guys were like dreaming. We don't know. No, that's kind of fucked. So you guys all went like it's this, like and no man- chocolate came out. No, no, no. We have like other candy. Okay, but we just other no candy. chocolate. But we 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 remember like getting like big fucking chocolate bars no, that's and going fun. to this big like and like wait, and then the thing, the crazy part is too. Yeah. The other Halloweens we tried, we couldn't find that street. What? The yeah, fuck? fam. This is in the in the ends. This is this is uh this is like in Scarborough. This is like uh what fucking. It's like near Malvern. <laughs> There's like some hidden street that only shows up during Halloween. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I don't know, bro. No, that's no actually- like for real. Th- this is just one. Ha- I remember it like to the T. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holy fuck, it's crazy. So I think I don't know. Maybe it was just us being kids, and then our imagination running. Mm-hmm. Cause I think as kids, like our, our imagination makes shit <laughs> feel different. No facts. It does. Cause I remember, um, one Halloween. Oh, continue. Sorry if you're going to, yeah, no, continue. No, because one Halloween it was back then when Halloween was popping, like the whole like uh community came yeah. out and like did trick or treating. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th- I was like, this is my first time going out and the first house I visited. So there would be like a button you would press like a do- doorbell thing. And all you see would, the garage would come out and there would be smoke. Like, oh, like it's my, a gun. Th- and back, this was my first house that I ever yeah, went to yeah. on Halloween. <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why is the garage opening? So the garage opened and there's like Frankenstein coming out. That's and, sick. and they start following you. And I'm like, no, I can't do this. I went home after that one oh, house. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why I don't really... That's why I said... That's sp- you don't like Halloween. Spirit Halloween traumatizes oh. me. Because like my first experience of Halloween was such a traumatic one. Oh, you know shit. I mean? Yeah. How old were you? Like five, probably. Okay, yeah. I yeah. pressed that thing thinking like, oh, I'm going to get candy. Fuck. Yeah, that, that's Frank like that. Like, that's like that era. And like, the, like it, w- it was normal that the person would follow you to your house and just stay there for a bit. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, like there was like I, I looked out the window, Jason following a bunch of kids. I'm mm. like, yo, this is insane. This is an insane day. Yeah, but th- that's like the lore of it and like yeah. the fun of it. But it's also weird. <laughs> but to take part in weird yeah. that's what you expect facts, I mean, you're not facts, supposed facts. to expect like regular shit to go exactly, on exactly yeah hopefully though mm-hmm. like the, I do have good memories of Halloween having with kids going outside and yeah. we're able to like you know bond in that way of oh we're kind of away from our parents we're gonna do oh, some yeah, crazy yeah. and that thrill uh-huh. hopefully it's still a thing because I really love those moments where it's not online because I feel like kids only get that online now. Mm-hmm, yeah, it's good to do it in person. Yeah, because I like I like when all our boys are here and like, obviously we don't we don't have the TV, but it's in my room, so we're just talking. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, those are so like sick moments because that's all we can do is laugh. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Yeah, deadass. Yeah, and those those are the, those are the important parts. Yeah. And yo, if you guys are ever bored, just 
try that. Yeah, call you know? your boys or something. Try call that. someone. And there's a lot of people that would like to start their own podcast too. Yeah. It, it's really so simple. Just turn on your camera. Go like yeah, this. Exactly. Put the camera on, boom, and just sit on a couch. Yeah. I think it was um those other guys from uh, Sweet Tea. They, yeah. they started their podcast by taping two phones on the That's on the crazy. Walls. That's yeah, yeah that, like, that, that's real. Because that's all they had, but shit, they made they made worth of it. Real shit, you just bootstrap it. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, thank yes. you for watching this episode of the Jumper Jump Podcast. Right. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, yes, and all that good stuff. Make sure to go on Apple, Spotify, keep downloading those episodes. Be careful on Halloween if you're going out. Yeah, make sure, <laughs> make sure you guys download the episodes and make sure you guys follow and do all those things because we're trying to boost up on the charts. Yes, sir. Help us get higher on those Spotify charts. Thank you, guys. Jumpers jump out. Deuces.